And these computers are essentially trying to serve you better. They're trying to personalize things to you. They're trying to adapt the world. Adapt it to you without you even having to explicitly adapt it. There's also a danger because the entities and the companies that are in control don't necessarily have the same goals as you. And this is what I think people need to be aware of that what was going on so that they can have more control over it. And we came into this new world thinking that we were users of social media. It didn't occur to us that social media was actually using us. We thought that we were searching Google. We had no idea that Google was searching us. Personalize things to you. They're trying to adapt the world to you. So on, on the one hand, this is great because the world will get adapted to you without you even having to explicitly adapt it. There's also a danger because the entities and the companies that are in control of those algorithms don't necessarily have the same goals as you. And this is where I think people need to be aware of that of what's going on so they can have more control over it. You know, we came into this new world thinking that we were users of social media. It didn't occur to us that social media was actually using us. We thought that we were searching Google. We had no idea that Google was searching us. Shoshana Zuboff is a Harvard Business School professor emerita. In 1988, she wrote a definitive book called In the Age of the Smart Machine. For the last seven years, she has worked on a new book making the case that we have now entered a new phase of the economy, which she calls surveillance capitalism. So famously, industrial capitalism claimed nature, innocent river to be reborn as real estate, as land that could be sold and purchased. Industrial capitalism claimed work for the market dynamic to, reborn, to be reborn as labor, an advisor to Facebook. He's now a critic and wrote a book about the company. He says he's concerned about how widely companies like Facebook and Google have been casting the net for data. And then they realize what they
they go to health and wellness apps and say, hey, you got women's menstrual cycles? We want all that stuff. Why are they doing that? They're doing that because behavioral prediction is about taking uncertainty out of life. Advertising and marketing are all about uncertainty. You never really know who's going to buy your product. Until now, we have to recognize that we gave technology place in our lives that it had not earned. It is essentially because technology always made things better in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. We developed a sense of inevitability that will always And the industry earned good will. The Facebook and Google have cashed in. The model is simply this. Provide a free service like Facebook. And in exchange, you collect the data of the millions who use it. And every sliver of the information is valuable. Thank <laughs> you. 